Hi, I have got a gorgeous red leather handbag here in the bucket style. And um, you won't believe it, this is vintage. When I first saw it, I thought it was um, a coach bag. Because lately I have been um, watching the Carrie diaries when you know Carrie was still a teenager when she was still starting and there is this episode where um Carrie was asked by her um classmate uh in school uh who would bully her to get her a coach handbag because um Carrie was already uh working as an intern um well I'm just um telling you the story where I I saw this uh like a coach prototype handbag that looks like this, <laughs> okay? And yeah, a red handbag. And that was, when I saw this yesterday um, at the Salvation Army store, I was like, huh, that looks like the coach that I just uh, saw in that episode, in that Carrie, the Diaries of Carrie. How do you call it? It's the Carrie Diaries, sorry. All right, so as you can see, this is leather. It's light though. It's um it's not a heavy leather. It's quite thin actually. And the thing that drew me was this. You know what makes a, a handbag stand out to me is the hardware. Look at that. It has a very, you know, funky and very modernist um twist to it all right i like this i mean i like this very very much and i don't have a bucket bag at this point do i i think i do but um not in this uh you know kind and um yeah and this is it has uh you can um actually adjust the straps and it's it's a very, very comfortable handbag. So I will use this as a go-to or to-go <laughs> handbag. All right. So um, there are just some uh, marks here, but, uh, you know, no biggies, you know. Um, leather, leather bags will always get scratches and marks. So all you have to do is to, you know, just uh, bring them back to life again. But this is gorgeous as, you know, as is, as you can see that it's still glossy and um, yeah, not much marks. Not, okay. It looks excellent to me. All right. So, oh, haven't I mentioned the designer yet? This is by Susan Gale, original. And not much is uh, known about her. But there is just one thing here on the internet that says um, bags by Susan Gale. I think that was a copyright spring of 1956. Um, so I would uh, I would date this bag um, 1956 up to 1960s because as she says it says here that Susan Gale handbags listed member of the National Authority in 1960. So she started uh, producing handbags in 1956. Okay. Now I just... All right. There are just some pen marks over here. And it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. It says here, made in Spain. Is it made in Spain? And Susan Gale. I've seen some of her handbags before, but I think I've given them away. It was like in the bucket style. It was gorgeous too, but not as gorgeous as this one. So no wonder I just gave it away. And what does it say? Genuine leather. Uh, Belido, whatever that is. And this is in excellent condition. I just have to, um, I think... Um, um, just uh, do something about here because uh, it, this one is, um, it needs um, restitching. So I could do that myself because you could pull the whole thing out and I could just, um, yeah, um, sew it back up. <laughs> okay, so it, it's, it, 
it's it's not a big deal so it's really really gorgeous so um yeah so i found two handbags yesterday on my trip to um salvation army i went to goodwill i didn't find anything there so um we just visited two shops yesterday and um yeah this is very good and and this is light you know with um coach handbags they tend to be very very thick right this one is light but um and it doesn't um look uh this does not look uh vintage at all it's actually very very contemporary because of the this is short so you can't um use it as a cross body but i think if you're petite you can do so there are three hole adjustments here and um that's just as far as you can go i believe or you could put more holes i'm not sure but anyway this is a gorgeous handbag so so there okay bye